Good morning. We're going to do a little bit of a day in the life at CAS. So let's go see what's going on in the shop. Can I say you can. This is a video. I'm going to do a little bit of a day in the life. So, Josh, you're up first. What are you working on? We are changing the floor on this pontoon. So, we ripped up all this nice carpet and we're putting new vinyl carpet on. Oh. So it was all like stained and stuff probably, right? Yeah. And then vinyl is obviously just a whole lot easier to clean and everything else. But okay, so how did you, not only did you pull up the carpet, So what else did you do? Everything off, that there, all the fencing, the interior, the elm. Oh, you even took off all the trim. Yeah. But that's because the carpet goes under the trim? Yeah, so we yeah, okay. everything and then wow. it down, the carpet's blue. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a trim there. And then the trim kind of has keeps it all on on the edges. Ah, awesome. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Good luck. Here we got Elise and she's doing some compound or polishing, compounding? Oh, polishing. Polishing. Yeah. Awesome. And this is the second side, so I can't show. There's no bad side anymore. <laughs> But it definitely looks a whole lot better. I know it, you can see you can see the shine. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, very nice. Polished, it'll be really nice. Very cool. And all that oxidization now. Yes, exactly. Lot. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, oh. it's a yellow boat. So oh. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. I'll go around to the back to show that part. Well, you know colors. Yeah. Yeah. You can still see some of it. And okay. It probably should have a decent wet sanding. Mm. Like a light one. Maybe. But that's like a whole other. It's a whole other deal. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I will show the back. Awesome. It looks great. It looks really good. Yeah. Thank you. So there, we're starting to get into the yellow, and then this will be yellow um, gel coat. Not. Oh yeah. Wow. That is a lot of yellow. Derek, you're up next. I know. What? I can't remember what you're working on. You are. I said an economy winner. Oh, that's okay. All right. Well, we'll go out there. All right, so the yard's looking, getting full. Hey, Dayton, what are you working on? I just picked some lawn. Oh, okay then. <laughs> Day in the life. Yard is getting eh, a little, definitely more full than what it was. Uh, that's about that's finished, getting finished up. Got the tower down because the batteries have been disconnected now. Uh, pontoon boats that we picked up from customers are just waiting their turn. And then this will be Derek's boat that he's going to be doing economy winterize on. So our economy winterize, we just check the engine oil, uh, check the gear loop. We don't change any fluids. Um, everything gets run on antifreeze, so that's that's standard. Um, and then if we do, if Derek thinks the gear lube or the engine oil needs to get changed out, um, then we will make that recommendation to the customer and then potentially bump them up to our silver winterize, which has that part of it um we did this one yesterday and up next for him is getting these through hauls nice and polished up so they look nice and shiny for him okay so every boat also gets um fuel stabilizer and this is how we um put it in your fuel system usually yeah yeah okay super simple but it makes such a difference having that these boats are going to be sitting for many many months uh with fuel in it and you just you want to maintain that fuel you want to make sure it's fresh and ready to go for next year we use the startron which um is multi-purpose that way you get all of the benefits of fuel treatment fuel cleaner um this also helps to burn off any water that might be in your fuel any condensation that will um occur over the winter and right now Derek's just checking the bellows which is standard for all of our economy jobs and Derek how do they look these ones look okay They're, awesome I, I would say they have them done fairly recently so. oh, okay cool all right so we're doing a gear lube check here and we want to be making sure well Derek you can explain what are we checking for we are looking for what the gear oil looks like and we just want to get the drain plug out enough so we can get a little bit so this looks almost brand new. Oh, okay, good. 
but we want to see what the color is, whether it's looking like this or whether it's turned black. Like this is fresh gear oil. And well, this is a Volvo. So is yeah. the Volvo a different color? Volvo is a different color, right? Yeah. Denmark? yeah most, okay. most of the manufacturers will use gear oil that looks like this. The Mercury stuff is green. Oh, okay. Unless you're into 30 horsepower and under mm -hmm. and it's come from the factory, then it'll have the um, high performance gear lube instead of the synthetic blend and it will also be this color. Oh, okay. So no milkiness in this one, no, no shavings. No so that is especially good. Especially with a especially with a boat sitting like this, if there's water in the drive, oftentimes it'll separate. So when you pull the drain plug out, that's the first thing that comes out. Oh, nice. Okay. And by sitting, you just mean that it hasn't been run in a little while. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. So next up is engine oil. Almost. Almost. Because we want to check the oil level as well. And so by lowering the drive. Oh, you're checking like gear oil level? Yep. Oh, okay. So on the Volvo's, they have a dipstick. Now I know from a previous yeah. video that the dipstick is gonna have a notch on it. So on these, now so there's no, there's absolutely no oil on this, so we'll have to top the oil up. Oh, okay. So nothing bad. It doesn't show us anything it, bad. Just not a good level. <laughs> so it, on on this dipstick, it should be anywhere between this notch and the bottom, anywhere on there. And there's absolutely nothing. Now, so everything is clean. But so what would cause it to be low? I mean, I guess it could just be that it wasn't topped up completely. Yeah, and these Volvos are kind of funny that way too, um, because the dipstick goes through the center of the cone clutch. Okay. Which is which is up here. So when you're filling it up, there's a top level plug underneath this cover which you have to take off and you generally fill up to that. Okay. But then you have to wait a few minutes before checking your level because uh, the oil has to have time to seep through all the bearings into oh. the center of the cone clutch. So the dipstick won't read full when you're full level. Oh, is for goodness sakes. Okay, so level. then it's a little bit different than a merc yep. because you're filling from the most you're filling from the bottom you always feel pushing the, the air up. out and so you know you're up there because yep. it's come out the top but these one on the bulbs you got to fill them up to that hole and, and then, then sit a couple of minutes <laughs> and then recheck them <laughs> and that's probably what has happened in this case is okay get rechecked after it was filled up to that line gotcha gotcha and as the oil seeps into the bearings and into that center spot on the cone clutch. It's creating drops. space, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Posted a, a picture the other day of how beautiful our scenery is here. Um, I know we're not on the water and that would be the ultimate, but look at this. Beautiful sunshine, beautiful blue sky. So we've got our counter staff and of course nothing happens without them. This is Sarah. Sarah's our service advisor. So Sarah, you are, what are you working on today? Yeah. Um, doing quotes mostly um, for our service customers who like we found items during winterizing that we mm. think we should be quoted out at the time so that's mostly what I'm working on. Because now you just sorry you just opened up the screen okay so this is kind of our our dashboard of sorts to tell us what's going on with uh, every single repair order that we've got open so right now we've got 151 um, that'll be estimates and repair orders. Yeah, estimates yeah. and repair orders. Okay, so then Kevin Ray, he signed his estimate. Um, so now we know that we can move on to the next step with him. So he has said agreed to or declined whatever items, approved or declined whatever items um, are on his repair order. Now he is an express, he's going with the express, our Saturday Express winter eyes. Um, so Sarah will have to contact him to schedule the day and time that he's wanting to come in. So those are drop-off, pick-up, same day, um, Saturdays only, starting October 19th, and just running until demand runs out. 
So she's got her emails all over there. And then this is our system called Lightspeed. And that's how we manage all of our service. So yeah, this is where she is when you're calling in or sending her emails. This is where she's hanging out and taking care of you guys. And then we've got Brinley. Well, Brinley just walked the other way. Bailey. And Bailey's our parts manager. And you are, you're doing the probably the most fun <laughs> aspect of your job right now. Yeah. I can see. <laughs> what is it that you're working on? Um, inventory and winterizing orders. Oh, yeah, winterizing orders. Yeah. Okay, yeah, right, yeah. This so inventory consists of what? Well, everything they have in stock to start with. So yeah, everything, everything that you see in the store here, um, anything that we have display out on out in the showroom, um, and that entire back room behind this wall has to be counted. Oh, and you have some stuff up there too. Yeah. So everything has to be every counted. Every screw, every. Yeah, all those little bits of hardware so that we know what we have in stock to try and minimize um, downtime yeah. in the service department and to ensure that when the customer is ordering something or needing a part or an accessory that we know if we've got it in stock or not. <laughs> Brinley is our parts advisor and she is, she, I mean, both of you ladies help out the customers, but Brinley is kind of the number one on that. And then she also takes care of our Amazon orders, which almost daily we've got, well, and it's picked up now too because of winterizing, but. Oh, there you go. Yeah, packaging stuff up. So we are also on Amazon. Um, and then Brinley, of course, helped out. She definitely took a big chunk out of uh, inventory counting as well. And then um, Bailey's just kind of doing some of the finishing touches. All right, so we're continuing our, our day in the life of CAS. So this morning, you did what? This morning, I sanded a gel coat repair on the underside of a boat and then did a second application of it to fill some little pinhole porosity out within it because it's on a vertical <laughs> upside down surface. So it has to be- a On a corner job. even. Yeah. yeah, it's building up the rear part of a straight. Yeah. Um, so I did that first thing so that it's got the longest secure time and hopefully I can get back and maybe sand that towards the end of the day. Then I loaded up and went and did a quick industrial shrink wrap job for a neighbor of ours for an airplane utility tool that's being shipped to Germany. Oh, very yeah. cool. And now you're up at your desk, your very organized yep. desk. He tells me he knows where everything is. Absolutely. And what are you working on? Um, so I just did some emails back to customers from overnight. And then I've now got a boat pickup scheduled for this afternoon. So we've got some licensing and license plating Mm. paperwork to do okay. so that that can get organized and then after that I'll double check what else I've got on my schedule as far as boats go because I know that there's some other gel coat repair jobs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. It's bouncing back and forth between a few things this time of year. Trying to yeah juggle and hopefully not drop anything. I am going to say hi to Lydia. She's our accounts payable. She takes care of making sure that all of our lights are on and all of our bills are paid. And then uh, this is my office here. So typically I do a whole lot of things. This time of year, we had our year end um, and working through all of that, getting everything ready for our accountants to move on to the next level with the next stage with that. Right now I'm also helping Sarah do scheduling in the shop and um, helping with some of the estimates. Um, banking, always always banking. Emails, same thing. Um, I answer a lot of questions, help direct um, the girls downstairs and uh, in the service department. It's a whole lot of everything. It's a whole lot. I've got a lot of different hats to wear, just like Dan, just in a little bit of a different way. It's always a different day. Yeah. <laughs>